The Turnbull government wants to cut the average commute in Sydney to 30 minutes. And the way to do it, it says, is to copy the design of cities like Glasgow and Manchester. Canberra would provide the money for roads and public transport and in turn it would reap the revenues from increased land values and income taxes from the jobs it generates. Every morning and every evening, millions of Australians face long commutes to or from work. Uh, one hour? 45 minutes? That's pretty long. The Prime Minister thinks so too. He wants to see commuter trips closer to half an hour. Lucy Turnbull is one of Sydney's chief planners. The idea of the 30 minute city uh, takes no more than 30 minutes or as close to 30 minutes as possible to get to work, to get to school. The trouble is most new jobs are created near CBDs, most new houses are built away from them and the road and transport links between them are often lacking. People are travelling too far for too long to get to work. We know that housing is not as affordable as we'd all like it to be. The government thinks it's found a solution overseas. The so-called City Deals investment model's been widely used in the UK, boosting infrastructure in cities like Manchester. So we like what we're hearing so far. UK City Deals is certainly a model which works very well over there. Here's how it would work. Federal, state and local governments would sign formal contracts committing to build roads, rail or other infrastructure in a city and setting clear targets for things like extra jobs or affordable housing to be created nearby. In theory, the land values would go up, the extra workers would be paying tax and governments would share in that extra income in the years ahead. We don't want to just hand the money over and, and hope that something happens. We are looking to deliver outcomes. Look, it's good to see a change in rhetoric. What we need is a change in reality. So you need to fund the Melbourne Metro, public transport in Perth, the Cross River Rail project in Brisbane, Badgeries Creek Rail in Western Sydney. More detail will be announced in the coming weeks. Nick Dole, ABC News.